blockers are finished. Let them cool down. Hmm. Oops. So. Uh, let's get into it. Well, it's really hard to do that with one more hand. I think it should be enough to remove them. Those are the parts. The weather is uh, skinny, uh, thin. Um, this is 0 0.4 millimeters. There is a guide. The screw. It's scaled a bit bigger, so it will fit the thread. Maybe you have to use a M6 screw just to push it through. Try one time, three times till it's it, till it fits the thread. And this is the last part. Support here, because oh, it's hard to do it with one hand to remove the supports. What the? Oh, like this. So this is the screw and it has some space so and this will slide and then you just use the screw to tighten it to your IPD and now I'm gonna assemble it so let's start with the assembly. So when it's finished, I just clean it up a little bit, a little bit, like that. Also, I just remove a little bit of the plastic, the edges. Don't cut yourself like L, like all the. Like <laughs> I do all the time. <laughs> Looks nice. Then we're gonna use, uh, I love this next torch thing. Also, it's very cheap. So we'll just take a M6 screw. No, it's not a screw, it's a... What is it called? I don't know. So... Let's do it. Just a few times forward, backward. Now we're gonna take this small bolt nut, what is it called? And we're gonna take a screw and put it in there. Wait, first I like to do this a little bit, only just a little bit. Just to clean it up. If your first layer was bad. <laughs> Okay, then we're gonna take the screw and put it in there. Oh, very nice, very nice. This is very nice. The screw was uh, scaled a bit higher. It's already scaled to the right size for this to work. So I hope this will work out like I want to. Yes, it's 
good. A few times. Nice. So let's just assemble it with the nut. When you assemble it by yourself, you can, you can just fine-tune that so you know what it's like when you tighten it and when it's loose. So what I do, I just close it a little bit. So. Like this. Okay, so. You can just put it in. I like to to put it into into this position, like this. Then I hold it in this place. Down. Then I push the rest side, the rest in. What the, what the flip? First one finished. It's the left one. Now, it should look like this. Oh. Nice. Now we're gonna use the quest and put it to the smallest IPD, like this. And now, we're gonna take it inside. So, like this. And now we're gonna open the screw a little bit more, a little bit. Then we're gonna adjust it by pushing both down, but always the auto side first. It's not an easy task to do for the first time, but. And maybe sometimes the thing will slip out, but after some practice, you should be satisfied with the result. So let's, I think it's on the right side, I like it, uh, but it has to, I have to push it more. So I'm just doing that with my fingers to push it down, also the left side. It has to be a tight fit. Mm, a, bit, a bit more on this side. Okay. And now here, the finger. Till it's till it fits. Mm, this side a little bit more, and now.
ça. Ok. The belt has to be under the under the tip of your part, so it doesn't scratch your nose. <laughs> and then you just put it into place. And then if you've finished it, you just turn it around. And then you can just push it here a little bit down, just to fit, and also on the other side, here. So the belt is in place. That's it. And beware, this TPU has to go over the belt so it doesn't scratch your nose. And I like it that way. Um, if you want to set your IPD, just loosen the screw and then you can just push it to your desired position. IPD 59, IPD 70. And then you just, if you want 70, you just tighten the screw a little bit, that's enough. And it will stay in place. It's also good for people who have um, a, a wider face, so if you hit the blockers, uh, maybe it will also change the IPD, I don't know, there are so many different uh, face shapes in this world so I can't make a fix for everyone but that's how it looks my IPD is somewhere t uh, 63 so it will be I'm gonna open it put it into place and then just tighten the screw that's it Thanks for watching. If you want to print it by yourself, you can go on my Thingiverse and you can download this mod for free. And happy modding. By the way, I had also this idea with the screw and the thread, but it totally went wrong and it was too thick. So it scratched my nose. Not a good idea. One more thing. This is the globular cluster and I like it very much. It has two paddings. Um, this is a leather, softer than the ones from Meta. And also this is a cotton, also a little bit softer than the ones from Meta. You get two pieces of this globular cluster, but also two times the plastic of the front and two times the plastic of the back. So you can just um, choose whatever you want. You, you, have, so, uh, you have a spare part. You uh, can just remove this and just remove it and um, choose cotton if you like it better. I like it that way. I like the leader behind and uh, cotton in the front. And I like also the top strap because it's good for weight with distribution and uh, when I, I always loosen the screw till the end when I use my Pro and then I tighten it and if it's all open, it's, the strap is still, I don't have to open the strap just to tighten it to my head. So it's a good, a good head strap. And we get also the Max FOV, but with this mod and also with the global Out cluster so i highly recommend when you buy a quest pro that you buy the global Out cluster but that's just a personal preparation happy gaming